Hey guys, today we are going to look at a deliberate cheat and you can watch the video. This is a very common cheat when someone uses a fetch land at the end of their opponent's turn, pretends that they're interested in, in this case it would be the Sylvan Library, and uses every trick in the book to distract the opponent. However, this time the guy catches it. So look at that. The, the card on the top of his deck is what he wants to draw for his turn. He's pretending he doesn't know what Sylvan Library does. It's not like this is a eternal format or anything and you've never seen the card before. He's going to say, oh, how many cards in hand do you have? Look at that. And, oh, got the card. Opponent points it out and says, nope, nope, I didn't cut. I didn't shuffle. I didn't do any of this stuff. This is as blatant a cheat and as clear a cheat as anything I've ever seen. And guess what? This Frederick guy, Frederick Cole, do you think this is the Omi time? If he's so bold enough to do it on camera while knowing he's being filmed, imagine how many times he's done it at your FNN. Imagine how many times he's done it at your pre-release. Well, pre-releases don't, well, Evolving Wild, right? So Evolving Wild's a very important card for him because he can tutor any card he wants using this plan. This is pretty premeditated. It is, I mean, the most damning part is he slides the card off the top of his deck to the front of his hand. Then he, when called out, puts the card from the back of his hand on the top. So even though he got caught, he really needed that card. It's astounding that I mean, they know they're on camera and they're still cheating at a huge percentage. And they know they will be caught, but winning matters to them so much more. That's why I don't take pro magic uh, very seriously. It's whoever's the best cheater. I have a little story for you guys. Mike Long, Mark Justice, two of my favorite people and two very renowned cheaters, one of which Mark Rosewater wants in the Hall of Fame. That's how great of a cheater this guy is, that Mark Rosewater wants him in the Hall of Fame because you cannot tell the story of Superman without Lex Luthor. You cannot tell the story of magic without Mike Long. So that is, you have a culture where you said cheating is okay and everyone should cheat, and whoever's the best pro magic player is just the best cheater. Sometimes cheating is forcing others like Efro to concede, or getting others multiple people banned. That definitely helps your odds when you can ban half the store, right? You just tweet, oh, I had a bad experience, someone was mean to me. Oh, where's the coach? Oh my gosh, there's Efro. We, we gotta ban everybody. Okay, Efro won? Yes, he won. So there is favoritism. There always is, but in this game especially. Now, this is as blatant as you could ever, ever imagine. Federico, look at him touching, and I, I mean, just anything to, anything to hide. But even when he gets caught, and this is the key, this cheat is actually a lot smarter than majority of cheats because he doesn't give up when he's caught. He takes a random card and puts it back in his deck. So he's done this so many times that it works. And even when caught, he's not going to give up. I don't know. It, it makes pro play really just a mockery. Like... If people are willing to do this on camera in front of thousands of people who watch this video now, then what are they doing when there's no cameras? What are they doing to casual players or FNM players? This is why people don't want to go to FNM because there's always cheaters. There's, I guarantee you there's a cheater at pre-release. I guarantee it to you. I tell the story of eight dudes who go for smoke break. None of them even smoke. Or two dudes who go to the bathroom together. Like it's kind of weird but at the same time like what are you doing in the bathroom together like at the pre-release and then everyone comes back and now they have monocolor decks and they're smashing face and seven out of the eight finish in the top eight 
So it's about, let's say, 100 people, and all of your group finishes in the top eight. I knocked out one of them. I was the seventh seed, and I lost to a guy who beat me twice. I don't exactly know why I had to face him three times, but my only two losses were to him. I play aggro, and aggro will catch you off by surprise, and the later it goes in the night, the better it gets. But I cannot beat seven on-color mythics or rares. It's not possible. No matter how good your aggro is, you're not going to win. So people like Federico and, you know, they have... Look, look at him go. Look at him go. Okay, let me look. Let me look. Okay, let me put this card to the tutor. Tutor. Oh, oh. Wow, that's so sneaky, right? So sneaky. And, oh, here's a land. I finally found a land. And... Now I'm going to pretend that I don't know what this card does and the card that I just put on top of my library is a card I really want. Here's the secondary cheat. I want you to be very, I want you to look at this very carefully. This is a cheat that you will see all the time by pros. I have no respect to, for any Magic Pro because this is, if the Magic Pros cared, Frederico would not be playing. Simple as that, no one calls him out. He's been doing this for years, if not decades. Oh. You see, it's a wrong card. He gets caught for cheating. He's so bold on camera, he even cheats again. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, right? Like, and eh, nothing happened. All right, we're good to go. We're good to go. Like, is magic really that important to you that you just think that you have to win? Like, it's the expected value. Is it like life or death that you cannot feed your family unless you cheat? I don't get it, but it definitely... it. Here's why people cheat so much. It's because it's acceptable at the pro level. Therefore, it's acceptable at every level below it. That's true for everything. Like, if you look at esports or Hearthstone or any of this stuff, it's really hard to cheat um, because it's all electronics, right? computer and data and all of that mystical stuff here it's a card game and people have been cheating since the dawn of time i grew up in the era of mike long mike long was the best player and mark justice they were in the inquest magazine all the time talking about new deck tags and you know i always wondered okay i made the same deck as mike long and it's not actually working it's a combo it was the first combo deck it was uh prosperity bloom and I realized, oh, my deck doesn't work because I'm not putting cards in my lap. Mike Long is putting cards in his lap. We had this guy in middle school, and he would just pull cards from his lap all the time. But this is a middle schooler, and when we confronted him about it, he was like, oh, well, the pros do it. And there was nothing else that could be said because, yes, he was correct. The pros at the time were putting cards in their lap, and they're still doing that today. Like, it's... Astounding that the cheating never goes away. These fetch lands are a tutors. Every pro magic player treats a fetch land as a tutor. You may not catch them. Look, here's, here's the difference. Some cheaters are good because they don't get caught. Some cheaters are bad, like Alex Pacini and this Federico guy, because they get caught. But why is cheating so rampant? Why do we why would someone if we tell someone, hey, you're gonna be on camera? What boldness, what audacity must they have to continue to cheat? It's because they don't feel like they'll be caught. No one's sorry that they cheated. They're only sorry they got caught. And even when this guy is caught, he has another cheat. Imagine how many times this guy's been caught and he still comes off of the tutor. Uh, essentially, he... he what right now, every Misty Rainforest, every fetch land he plays is a Vampiric Tutor for zero mana and zero life. Vampiric Tutor is one of the best cards in Magic. There you go. So in addition to a land, so imagine let's we create a land. Let's create a land and let's call it Misty Tutor. And the Misty Tutor is, you know, tap it, sacrifice it, search for a island or a forest and put search for another card put it on top of your library how op would that card be how ridiculously overpowered would that card be well that's why the pros always beat you because they're playing their misty when you're playing your misty rainforest they're playing their misty tutor vampiric tutor 
if the pros want anyone to take this seriously, they gotta call it. They have to call these people out. That's what I don't understand is they call out, you know, uh, rapists. They call out sexual offenders. They call out all these other things, but they do not call out Alex Pacini. Like Drew Levin did, but for the most part, Alex Pacini receives massive support from the pro community. I would say 95% of the pros all think that he didn't do anything wrong. And that's his arrogance. That's why when he returned from, I think his first time or second time, he said on Star City Games, did you miss me? Why would he say that? And then when he was asked what his favorite card was for an article in Star City Games, he said Explore, the card that he was caught cheating with on camera. You don't think he has support? You don't think people think that cheating is okay in Magic? That's, I do not give two cents about pro play. It is absolute BS because it's just whoever's best at cheating. Anyway, bye.